Well, that's because drug dealers can get their hands on fentanyl cheaper than they can heroin. Either way, the heroin and fentanyl crisis is spinning out of control, and Lorraine police are trying to do something about it. Jacob Castro White's Facebook page was a tribute to the 23 year old being an award winning bodybuilder. Now it's a memorial as friends share messages that he rest in peace. Lorraine police told me Jacob overdosed and died on the painkiller fentanyl. Police raided this house on Garden Court this morning where they found more drugs and handcuffs slapped on this man, Russell Davis. Detective Buddy Seibert told me Davis sold Jacob the fentanyl, passing it off as heroin because fentanyl is cheaper. We have to do something to try to stop the overdoses. Instead of only charging Davis with drug trafficking today, Lorraine police charged him with a much more serious crime, involuntary manslaughter, which could mean up to 20 years in prison if convicted. Davis was already on parole for drug dealing. Fentanyl is a lot stronger uh, than heroin, um, and if you're used to doing a certain amount of heroin and you think you're doing heroin and it's pure fentanyl, chances are it's going to kill you. I checked with the Lorain County Coroner's Office. There were 65 fatal overdoses in 2015 and 30 in the first three months of this year. At that pace, there would be 120 overdose deaths this year. More police departments are charging heroin dealers with involuntary manslaughter, hoping it sends a clear message. Society has to do something, um, whether it's the legislation, legislators changing the laws, making it the punishments harder, or us finding different ways to charge people. And of the 30 fatal overdoses so far this year in Lorraine County, 18 of them have happened in Lorraine and Elyria. Live in Lorraine tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.